So the first thing you want to do is go to www.red5pro.com and when you're there, click on the sign up button. From here you can register using your GitHub account or register directly with red5pro.com. While you're registering, take a look at the plans below and choose one. We have a trial which is 30 days and limits your server to 10 connections. We also have Growth Pro, Startup Pro which are used for production applications and we have a Developer Pro edition which limits it to 100 connections. It's great for developing locally or if you have a small scale application. Uh, finally below we have the mobile SDKs and those allow you to, um, to do live streaming from iOS and Android so you'll want to choose one of them as well. I'm going to spare you the frustration of watching me register and use an account I've already set up. So I'll click on login and we'll get to the overview page. On this page you can locate your license keys. The server license key is automatically embed in the server when you download it. However the SDK license you'll need to take note of that because we're going to have to put that into a plist file later on when we develop the iOS application. Okay you're at the point now where you want to get to the downloads page and download the server. So we'll go to the downloads page. We have our license key set up again up at the top. And from here you want to download Red5 Pro, and in this case it's version 3.4.4. So I'll download that. I'll save it to this directory that I've got over here on the right. Once it's downloaded, we want to unzip it. Okay, great. What we want to do now is jump into our command line from this folder. So if I check the working directory, I can see that I'm still in the Red5 Pro server directory. And from here, I can list the files. I see my startup script. I also see a license.key file. Again, you can cat that out just to uh, verify that it's the same exact uh, key that you have over at your overview page. See here on the overview page you have your license keys for the server license. You could also see it from the downloads page. Um, and at this point you can actually start the server up. So you want to run it with sudo because we're going to be using WebRTC to view some of our streams. server is going to load up and we're going to look for a few um, output statements just to make sure that everything's working correctly. One thing we'll look for is um, up at the top we'll look for the license key. Again that should have your license key listed right there. And we should also be able to find one more one more uh, so here's the license check completed successfully and it tells me that I have a valid license that's been found and it gives me my plan so I have a pro unlimited connection limit and then the rest of the server loads up so at this point we can go back to our um, browser and then we can let's see here, show the toolbar so here let's just test to make sure everything's working perfectly And if you can hit localhost and the port 5080, which is the default web port, um, then you know that your server is running correctly. You could also see your local IP address here, 192.168.0.8 happens to be my local IP address. So that's one way to verify that the server is working correctly. Now at this point, you know that the Red5 server is working correctly. It's loaded up. Um, you're now going to start looking at things like broadcasting and subscribing. Um, a few of the tests you'll want to do is to see if it's working with WebRTC. Um, you might also want to check the uh, flash uh, fallback mechanisms. And once you've done that, you're going to want to start moving to some of our mobile SDKs like iOS and Android. And we'll get a little more familiar with those in a future video. So until then, get comfortable. Uh, take a look at the documentation and play around with the server. And we'll see you soon.